All right. Um, welcome to the commentary for this short film, um, Psych. It's a it's an idea that I originally got from from uh, a commercial. Now, not a commercial that. Uh, that I saw, but a commercial that I had in mind to shoot. During the pandemic, I had already planned to shoot the commercial just to keep the um, mind busy and um, keep the skills fresh. Um, I wanted to do that and challenge myself and see what I could come up with. So I bought those stuff in the video. I had bought like six months before I shot that video. Of course, I shot the video in 2020. I even bought a background you know, like uh, with that coffee theme um, brown color um that i that's still lying down here somewhere and i never got to use so but i basically procrastinated and when it was time to do this shot i was like okay let me steal something from that we wanted a twist on the shot and um i thought about okay i can fully bring in the coffee as the twist because that's normal coffee should keep you awake but um how about if we do a psychological play you know putting on paper and you know considering what you have to do it felt like it was easy and it is easy because it was fun throughout the process except for the fact that i had to cast my wife who wasn't an actress or who still isn't an actress who I think can do well if she puts her mind to it, but that's not her thing. She's not interested, but she only just wanted to support me. Sure. Having prepared her mind for this day, it was time to shoot, and she um, dressed up as usual, as she normally goes to bed with her makeup and stuff like that. I was like, what? You weren't supposed to do that. She was like, I'm ready for bed. I thought you said it was something simple. I said, like, yes, but... I really would have not want you to have that thing on. But then I thought about it. You know what? That's true. That's how she does. That's what she does every night before she sleeps. She puts on that scary pancake on her face. And <laughs> and uh, and I said, okay, I'll roll with it. And uh, believe it or not, I slept right there on the chair and woke up. When I woke up, that's when I actually started shooting. So uh, if you look very closely, you can see evidence of a good sleep. Or was it a good sleep? I remember my back hurt from sleeping on the chair. Now, if we roll the tip, I'm going to just play back so I don't miss anything out. Um, the intro was the last thing I did, or rather the graphics at the intro was the last thing I did. I really wanted to you do some after effects, uh, you know, graphics and stuff like that, but... I still did not have time, you know, because I had originally, I shot that intro, the drone scene with the title sequence in mind. My plan, my original plan was to have some after effect, effect uh, you know, graphics and stuff like that, have a little bit more um, credits and um, whatever that was I had in mind, I never brought it to pass, so I'll never know. Uh, but... I had to think smart and I, and I quickly jumped onto um, a graphic uh, software that I use that most people probably know. Uh, it's called Canva. Uh, there's a free version and um, uh, when I wanted to do this, I had to subscribe quickly for the premium one that, you know, where you could have uh, graphics uh, uh, transparent. So that was the trick I put. I, I did it graphics quickly and I put it in the background and made them transparent that you can get only from the premium. So I, I put the graphics on the video and it was easy to just uh, resize, you know, or reposition wherever I needed it to be. So um, that was the cheating I kind of did. That was my way out. Now the music was um, courtesy of YouTube. And thanks to YouTube, um, yeah, I took my time to make selections. The truth is, uh, I think that the music really helped tell the story, um, like move move the emotions and carry you along. You know, I set the tune like it was going to be a fun, family kind movie, you know, comedy uh, vibe to it. So it, w it was kind of more inviting 
Um, yeah, and I got all that from YouTube uh, audio library. And of course, I don't want to have any uh, um, uh, copyright issues. So that was the safest, or that is still the safest place to go. Now for the tools I use, Moza Slypod. Okay, um, two, that's what I have. Um, Moza Slypod 2, I think that's what it's called. Now, I had to use the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K uh, that for the shot because um, it was a little bit lighter. I could trim it, trim it down, down uh, a little bit lighter than the FS5 that was uh, all set up to take audio. I left the Black uh, the Sony FS5 on wide. I also used um, a motorized head that could tilt. It's called the pan and tilt uh, motorized head. Um, it's an old tool from like maybe 10 years ago. I, I don't know. I think it's that old, but it's not the everyday modern day stuff like that. It's cheap, cheaper than what you, if you want to get a real motorized slider. Um, yeah, so, but I got that one and it was able to take, um, the black magic again, up and down, tilt, right and pan, you know, and it's just some easy ones. You could motorize it. You know, but I wanted to have control, so I held the control in my hand while I was on the phone making the conversation, and uh, there was only little I could do because, of course, you don't want to overdo it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put some of those movements in that, and I made sure I I kept the movement going until we had we could have a reason to stop. All right, so um, from one sliding to another sliding because you want to keep it going, and then the um, and then the character, I established my wife uh, character, you know, because I didn't want to bring her at the end to with a solution all of a sudden. So I had to introduce her initially um, that she overheard their conversation. Uh, while he was asking for coffee, she had already, you know, or probably just been brainstorming on what to do, how to help. As in, not completely, just out of the camera. Like three, two more steps. Okay. Gotcha. And can she came up with the idea and it worked out really good and you know when it was time to reveal it, you know, that was the twist I, I said for the end. It had to be the end. You know, like save you know, not not you know, after all the achievement and all the rejoicing and stuff like that, it was like, okay, really how um what was that medicine you gave to me what was that uh, um drug or you know medication you gave to me um so i can use it more often of course that's that's the reason for the question that was the reason for the question he wanted to do it over and over again and you know and from the feedback i get most people don't see that coming you know even though the the, the title is psych most people probably think of some psych guy going on, some psychology, some nuts case or something like that, you know, but then you soon then discover that, oh, this was just a psych as in, I got you. We had to rescript, well, not rescript, but on the go, she wasn't ready to read scripts and she wasn't ready to read lines. She wanted me to just say what I wanted her to say. And when I told her what she should say, she said it in her own words. And I didn't want to challenge and delay and, you know, try to make her recite or memorize her lines. And that would take us forever to achieve. So I went with it. Sometimes I, I even had to say some lines that would help the viewer understand that she's a nurse and stuff like that. So I just brought, I did a little bit too much, but I thought it... It gave the message, uh, made the message a little bit clearer. Uh, the voice, Boss Boston, is that of my older brother. He's UK based. He was, uh, um, he lived his life almost his entire life in the UK, and so pretty much he speaks that way. And I thought, and I thought it sounded like a real boss. Well, we've been working together for three years now, and you've always delivered a day or two before deadline. One thing um, on the on her spot where she said psych uh, from down the stairs, uh, it was pretty dark in the original. Um, 
I mean, it's it's um, the lighting there. I had to change the lighting um, above her where she stood from down the stairs uh, in front of her, her room um, where she said psych. The, the bulb above her head, as you can see, is uh, one of those weird uh, looking bulbs from way back. The light will flicker and I didn't want that. I wanted white light. I wanted bright light. So I I put one of my uh, mini um, light. I think it's, it's one from... Um, new mower it's a mini like a five inch light or less than a five inch light uh, with magnets at the back of it so i um the roofing next to the light was where i placed it and it stuck it got um because that was metal so it was able to stay hanging there above my head and that's how we were able to get the light uh, without showing it on the, on camera. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, any, any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to get back to you. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.